Hey Quits, it's time to thwip. What's up thwipper snappers? I'm AJ and welcome back to another thwip side video. And today I'm going to attempt <laughs> to uh, unbox and give you my thoughts on the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse 1989 Batmobile from the Flash movie. I say attempt because this thing is big and beefy and my little review station is having trouble holding it all in. But quickly I'll show you the box as best I can. Here you get a picture of the Batmobile, the Flash movie logo, McFarlane DC Multiverse, and then just Batmobile and Flash there. And just Flash logo. Like I said, Flash logo, some mumbo jumbo. And real quick, another picture of the Batmobile. And it shows, fits most 7-inch figures. So, I've been excited for this to come in the mail. It finally did, so I'm going to pop it open and check it out. And first impressions, <laughs> wow, man, what a really cool vehicle. It's got some nice detailing on it. And I just I just think it looks cool. <laughs> um, starting from the front here, you know, you get all this paneling work in the sculpt. And you get the bat logos on the tires, which are rubber. And I'll try to bring it a little closer. I apologize. Like I said, my review station is really not suited for something this big. But like I said, more paneling work. You get some like exhaust components and other engine inner workings. I'm not a mechanic. Um, this cool vent and more vents here. And of course you got the wing on the back. And again, the bat logo. The top, really nice. And <laughs> that's what everybody talks about, and I agree. It's a shame. Don't know why they went with a gray cockpit canopy. Makes no sense to me. No clue why. Little paint could fix that, but it's still a shame. Why didn't we get that in the first place? Let's see if we can get the back for you guys. You got the thruster. Could be cool if they had a little paint in there, like for like flame effect or a, a attachable flame effect. That would have been cool as well. The lights, exhaust, some more panel work. This side's the same as the other side, of course. And then the front, you get that iconic turbine with the lights. So yeah, I think it came out really cool. To open the cockpit, you just pop the button and it slides out either this way or you can put it up that way. And inside we get some nice detail. You get the seat, steering wheel, and a lot of gauges. So some pretty decent detail inside as well. Now, of course, the box did say we'll fit most seven inch figures, but of I will say, um, you gotta make sure that they have a cloth cape and not a rubbery plastic one or no cape. And I did hear it could be quite a bit of a pain to get a figure in there. So I'm gonna check that out right now, just to see. So obviously we gotta, and you don't want to be that much, as much of a problem, I don't think. If McFarlane would give us better ab crunch. We get Michael Keaton in here push them down well that wasn't too bad i heard horror stories in some instances that was fairly easy <laughs> and then of course we'll you know, get the soft goods cape away from the, and then pop it in and there's batman ready to go but he better not forget his mask or his identity will be revealed <laughs> So bottom line for me is I absolutely love this 89 Batmobile from McFarlane Toys. It's got a lot of cool details. The only con I would say is why I have a gray canopy. Should have been black. But still, it's an awesome vehicle. Especially when you consider the price point. Like 60 bucks compared to 400 And this too, Hasbro, has a top, bottom, and middle. Pay attention. <laughs> um... With that being said, yeah, sorry the review is kind of short. You would think a short review might be kind of like a negative review, but it's not. It's just because 
it's a car. I mean, it doesn't have tons of things to like mess around with. <laughs> but uh, so I just wanted to show you what it looked like and my thoughts. Um, but yeah, definitely not a negative review. I love this thing. Another con, but it's not the car's fault at all. And it's actually not a con. It's just a personal thing for me. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put it. It's big. I constantly battle with shelf space because um, my collecting uh, my collecting area is not as uh, extravagant as some other people's. And space is an option uh, problem for me. So that and that's not against the car it has to be this big to fit a seven inch figure but yeah fantastic um batmobile i couldn't be more happier with it uh, with that being said i think i'll be wrapping this up thanks for watching for all the continued sub uh, support please consider subscribing and thwipping that notification bell and i will catch you guys later on the thwip side later